What's up everyone, this is Cybernide, and today I have a very special opening for you guys, one that I thought kind of fit this theme that we're going to see later on this year, and that is a first edition Yu-Gi-Oh! Cosmo Blazer box. So, yeah, this is the set that introduced the Fire Fist and uh, basically a lot of Fire Attribute monsters. It's kind of a Fire Attribute set, really. And uh, we already know that later on this year, we're supposed to get a ton of new Fire Fist support. We're getting the Link monster, finally, and all kinds of stuff. I, I think there's supposed to be, like, so many new cards in it. I think they said at least, like, 10 or 11 cards are going to be in it. I'm sure a bunch of reprints. So I was thinking, well, makes sense to get this. Maybe we'll get some good luck and uh, get some of those Fire Fist cards early because we can even get Ghost Ranch out of this set. We can even get Ultimate Ranch. So, yeah, let's just go on ahead and get to it. But before we do, first off, let's hear a word from our sponsor, which is Amino. Amino is an app that allows you to connect with other people that may share the same interests as you. Whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, or anything like that, you're able to talk to other friends, make new friends on that, and now they've even added this new feature called Stories, where you can make uh, smaller videos and it allows creators to, you know, have another place to make more videos besides just YouTube. It helps us out because, yeah, we can come up and try out some different ideas that we maybe don't want to try on YouTube or see if you guys, you know, would like them, kind of test them out and stuff too. Be sure to check out the first story I've already done. It was kind of a quick top five list, and I was thinking it might be fun to do kind of quick top five lists in the future or just other random things like that, maybe some quick openings and, and just random stuff that I thought maybe would be too short of a normal video on my YouTube channel. So be sure to check that out. Follow me on there. And, yeah, download Amino. It is on every device, and, of course, I will have links down in the description if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Anyway, let's get to it. Gotta say, I'm so happy to see more, like, sponsorship stuff going on, too. I know that that used to be more taboo or something bad to say back in the day with YouTube, but now these days, it helps out a ton. <laughs> Seriously, YouTube, woo, <laughs> unless you have enough subscribers where they'll pay attention to you complaining about it, you're in a mess. <laughs> and I think a lot of YouTubers know that, and I think it's kind of where even main, mainstream people, you know, people that aren't YouTubers, know what's going on, because... <laughs> I can't complain too much, but yeah, <laughs> I know certain ones get special treatment, and then the rest of us kind of get, uh, especially us in the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, but yeah, enough about just random stuff like that. I want to open up some packs. I want to talk about some happy stuff, and and I enjoy opening up some packs. Nobody wants to talk about YouTube. There's always so much controversy anyway. It's never fun to talk about. Spear Shark. Kind of cool to see that one. Uh, then we have Heldry B, uh, Twin Headed Eagle. And Orbital 7. All right, we start off with the Hollow. You're not guaranteed one per pack, by the way. So there we go. Oh, that's awesome. I like Tim from Zexel as well. Pretty good card. There's a Fire Fist, by the way. I will say the newer version of him is a little bit better, though, that came out in Legendary Duelist pack. Was it pack three, I guess? He was still pretty helpful, though. And besides that, I just kind of think it's cool they made him into a card. <laughs> Some of the Hazy Flames, by the way. Yeah, they're another Fire Archetype that's in this. Have Ultimate uh, Fire Formation Seto, uh, then. We got an Ultra Rare! All right! I thought I could see a Hollow. It is a uh, Quick Booster. I think we got one of these recently, too, didn't we? We got, like, an Ultimate Rare from something. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool card. Not the most playable, but, man, does it look cool. I love the artwork for it, too. It has, like, Endymion on it as well, which is kind of cooler now because... We have that new uh, Stretch Egg, or sort of new now. It's been a little bit earlier this year. Another one, Spear Shark. There's another Fire Fist. Hazy Flame. Uh, let's see, uh, Blackwing, uh, Gladys, the Midnight Sun. And again. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you know what? That's almost like a hollow. A <laughs> crimson sunbird. But yeah, it looked a lot darker, so I was thinking maybe it was a hollow. Like, that was kind of a thing that always happened with older packs. It's not as easy to tell anymore, but you can always see like the, how the card was a little bit darker, and that's usually meant that you had a hollow. So that usually gets me in a mess, though. <laughs> I think, oh, we got a hollow. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> but crimson sunbird, yeah, I missed that card, right? <laughs> we have Heldry Rebirth. Or reborn, excuse me. I guess close, but <laughs> try to come up with my own names. Oh yeah, and Bacon Saver. Oh, that is that is rat. This is the set with them. It's actually kind of funny. They have some kind of funny cards in this one too. Garbage ogre. Then finally, a fire fist for us. That's actually you know above a common. Uh, Brother Firefist uh, Spirit. 
So that is actually a tuner monster, by the way. Star drawing. Remember using that with Utopia. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm really hoping we get an ultimate rare Fire Fist, you know? That would be amazing. We'll see. Okay, for a second I thought maybe it was a hollow, but no, we gotta get to our rare first. Infernal uh, Flame Vixen. Kind of cool. I wouldn't mind a number 92, though, as well. He's going to be so much easier to summon once we get that other number monster. I think it's number 96, the one that we're supposed to get pretty soon, Battles of Legend. That will come in handy. Oh, here we go, another Brother of Fire Fist. Uh, this one is Gorilla. So that gives us another one that's a rare. We're getting there. That's supposed to be our, our theme, so. <laughs> All right. So that's like somebody is mowing or something outside. Sorry if you can hear that. You never know, out in the country especially. Anyway, <laughs> Blackwing, uh, Gladius, the Midnight Sun, and oh, do we have something? Well, uh, yeah, th there was a Mermel in this. I forgot about that. That's actually one of the best ones too, uh, Mermel Abistius. Oh, that is awesome. First edition, everything too. That is so cool. I, I forgot about that though because, yeah, I guess there were some Mermels in this. It's just, I always think about this one being more exclusively for fire monsters, and then Mermels just seems funny, but, you know, <laughs> just because that was the theme doesn't mean that was the only thing you would find in it. That is really good. I remember that being one of the pricier ones until later on it got a reprint, but uh, I'll take that. First edition? Sure. Mermels are still pretty decent these days. I don't, unfortunately, see them too much. And I don't know if I mean, unfortunately, too much either, because I never like to go in against them. I guess that's a good thing for them, though, too. Hazy Flame, uh, Periton. Tensu. Again, sorry if you can hear that in the background. I guess someone decided to mow. Yeah. I hope the mic's not picking it up. There we go. Okay. They seem to quiet down. I'll say, gonna have to, gonna have, to have some words, right? <laughs> All right, uh, Hyper Agent Shark Megalodon, then. Full of Prophecy. All right, I thought that was all I was hoping it wasn't going to try to trick me. Well, that's pretty cool as well. One of the Prophecies. I want to see more Prophecy cards. I know we just recently, I guess, got the Link Monster, finally in English. I thought it'd be cool if they gave him a few more cards. Maybe we'll see something. Or Fire Formation, man, a lot of trap cards there. Uh, anyway, another one, Sito. And um, um, Mystical Fairy Elphoria. Well, there we go. There's our secret rare. I wasn't expecting that one at all. I'm trying to make sure I said the name right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Remember, people want to get this card because of the artwork and everything, too, because, you know, reasons. And it is a pretty cool-looking card, too. I wish they would have had more, like, of the elf cards, because I think there's technically two of them, but they're not really an archetype or anything, either. I, that would have been kind of cool to see something like that, I guess. But, yeah, that's a cool card to get as a first edition. I'll definitely take that. Why not? That's a card I've kind of forgotten about, really. Forgot about being in this set, especially. The last one for the right side of the box. Remember the Heldry cards? Tenki. Then uh, another one of Twin Headed Eagle. I'll save myself on a few of these names. Instead of saying the full name. Alright, now we're to the left side of the box. Alright, what can we get? We've gotten like two Ultras and a Secret already. But maybe we can get more. Alright, have a Heldry Beast Leo. Finally one of those. I haven't seen one of those yet. Crimson Sunbird? I thought so. You weren't going to trick me this time. <laughs> I'm about to say, I think that's what it is. It might be the only fusion in the set, so it probably is easy to, to know. One of Leo. Spell Wall. Then uh, Periton, another one of those. Hazy Pillar. I remember using the Hazy Beasts as well, though. They were, or Hazy Flame Beasts or whatever. They were actually pretty fun. Yeah, it seemed like it was those, uh, Fire Fists, and then even uh, Fire Kings. So, like, all three of those were, like, fire archetypes that were doing well. Uh, Infernity's Archer. And then Brother of Fire Fist Swallow. So, yeah, finally a hollow 
Fire Fist Taurus. Okay. Again, that was kind of the goal this opening, but we really had that kind of luck. Well, there we go. We actually got a super rare. First edition, everything too. Not bad. I will definitely take that. I'm still hoping, though, if we get an ultimate rare, it's going to be a Fire Fist. That would be amazing. So, <laughs> let's see. Kind of want one of the XC. Tiger King, you know? That Red Dustin, I think that's short print. Have uh, Noble Knight Joan and... Yeah, Crimson Sunbird. <laughs> For a second, I just saw the black on the side, so I was hoping maybe it was an XC monster. Stop trying to trick me, Crimson Sunbird. Dang. What in the world? <laughs> that card really is a troll. Oh, there we are. Then uh, Brother Firefist Gorilla. Dodo -do Bot. <laughs> Oh, double bacon saver. There we go. Now that's the best pack of the set right there. If only it was two Crimson Sunbird as well. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. It's funny whenever things like that happen. It's kind of random. I can't do that like on secret rares, you know? Just get a couple of secret rares. <laughs> would be too easy, right? Uh, another one of Hyper H and a Sharp Megalodon. Bacon saver. Can't have too many. Alright, I'm hoping we at least see a couple more hollows. Dimension Gate, if it will focus so you guys can actually see the card. Then another one, a Beast Leo. That was one of the sought after cards, too. Hell Trades were actually pretty good whenever they finally got their other support. They came out with World Superstars, but I think we had to wait so long over here in the TCG, we never saw the meta like they did over in the OCG. Same with Chronomalies, like they never really went too crazy, I don't think, over here either, for the same reasons. Uh, ZW Lightning Blade, that was a good card too, especially to power up Utopia. And, oh man, I thought that was a hollow. Unfortunately not, but good rare. Again, this around the time I ran Utopia, and you equip him with all that stuff, you rank him up and all that too, and he was insane. Nowadays we even have Utopia the Lightning, which makes it even easier, honestly. In a lot of ways it's better than Utopia V or Victory, so... Red Dustin as well. All right, we have Blackwing, uh, Damascus, the Polar Knight, and I think we got an Ultimate. Did we? Yeah, and <laughs> well, there you go. That's the that's the one we got recently, right? Uh, quick booster. So yeah, it is an amazing looking Ultimate Rare. Unfortunately, not really what I'm looking for, but yeah, it, it is cool looking. So we'll give it a little bit of a pass because come on, it's an Ultimate Rare. Getting that from an older one is always awesome, and uh, again, it looks amazing. I just wish it was more playable, because, yeah, it's really not. Kind of figured it'd be tough to get some of the Fire Fist. That was one of the ones that was tough to get from the set anyway. I don't think I had good luck back then. Not that I can recall. But we still have plenty of packs, so anything's possible. Have uh, Noble Knight Joan. Still think it's weird that they made her a Noble Knight. She's not really a Noble Knight. But whatever. Like, I think they try to counter as the archetype, but she's not, kind of thing. I, I kind of hate it when they do that kind of stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Have Inferni Archer. And another Fire Fist Horse. Okay, at least we got another one, okay? <laughs> you know, we're, we're getting there. Brother the Fire Fist uh, Dragon this time as a super rare. And I think that one's pretty good to get, too, like that. So, I'll definitely take that. At least we're getting a few more Fire Fists that are hollows. <laughs> you know, ab at least above rare. And... Last pack. Okay. What are we ending with? Can we end with the hollow? Let's see. Oh, let's get an XC monster, right? I want like number 92 or a Tiger King, like I said. Let's see. Anything's possible. You never know with some of these boxes. Have Heldry Reborn and... Ah, oh, unfortunately not. We did not end with the hollow on that. But, uh, yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes, unfortunately. I still think I had a pretty cool box, though. I mean, at least I got a few Fire Fist cards, like I said. Just didn't really go with our theme, because I was really hoping that Ultimate Rare would be one. But, unfortunately not. Even got a card I forgot about, one of the Elf cards. Again, I think there's only two different ones, and they really, I don't think, work together. Not really sure. I hadn't seen them in a while. <laughs> one of the Prophecies. Abyssius, which, that's actually really good. That was one of the pricier cards back then, so... 
back then that would be a lot better, honestly. And uh, yeah, Orbital 7 even. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other requests for different openings, let me know down in the comments. And again, be sure to check out Amino. It really helps the channel. There will be a link in the description. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.